I'm Marie-Louise Gay, and I'm an author and illustrator, and um, I wanted to share this story that I wrote and illustrated called Fern and Horn. So this is a book about, I guess, how your creativity and how your imagination can run wild. Now, if you're stuck at home, which I am today, and maybe some of you are too, um, there's so many things you can do, but you have to use your imagination. So Fur and Horn are twins, and they both like to invent all sorts of things. So here we go. It starts off with this, these drawings that somebody has done. We'll find out. And I think we found out right here that it's probably Fern who did these drawings. Because Fern loves to draw flowers and butterflies, birds and bees, caterpillars and orange trees. Can I draw with you? asks Horn. Of course, says Fern. Do you want to borrow my favorite purple crayon? I want to borrow all your crayons, says Horn. But Horn thinks that his flowers look like purple pancakes. That his caterpillars look like striped socks. Horn thinks that his birds look like witches' hats. I can't draw flowers, grumbles Horn, or birds or stripy caterpillars. Draw whatever you want, says Fern. Elephants, says Horn. I'm good at drawing elephants. Which he does. The problem is that Horn's elephant is big and ferocious. It loves to stomp on Fern's flowers and swallow her butterflies, her birds and bees, her caterpillars and orange trees. Uh-oh, says Horn. What happened here? You know what happened here, sighs Fern. You should keep your elephant on a leash. Look at that mess. Luckily, Fern's imagination is as big as the earth, as big as the sky, as big as the universe. Fern loves looking at stars. They sparkle and glow from a million light years away. Sometimes she hears them singing. Fern also loves making stars. Look at that, look at that sky. She cuts out bright morning stars fiery shooting stars, and even starfish. She sprinkles stardust everywhere. Fern hangs the stars so high that not even a ferocious elephant could reach them. Can I make some stars too? asks Horn. Of course, says Fern. Do you want to borrow my scissors? Yes, answers Horn. Look at the stars here that she has made that Fern has made. But Horn thinks his stars look like confetti, or giant snowstorms, or macaroni, but without cheese, of course. I can't make stars, grumbles Horn. Your scissors are way too slippery. Do you want me to help you? asks Fern. No, 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 says Horn. He has another idea. He tears and rips, he glues, he cuts, 
and snips. Horn makes an enormous wild polar bear. Look at that. The polar bear gar gobbles up the bright morning stars. It devours the fiery shooting stars and the starfish. It licks up every little speck of stardust with his bright pink tongue. Uh-oh, says Horn. What happened here? You know very well what happened here, sighs Fern. You need to teach your polar bear some good manners. Luckily, as I said before, Fern's imagination is as big as the earth, as big as the sky, as big as the universe. And look at this, she thinks and thinks. She sketches and draws. I know, says Fern, I will build the biggest, strongest castle in the world. A castle that will stand up against polar bear gobbles and elephant stomps. Horn, do you want to help me? Fern calls out. But Horn doesn't answer. He has disappeared into thin air. He has another better idea. So, Fern starts all by herself. Fern builds a magnificent castle with turrets and a dark dungeon. In front, there is a deep moat where a hungry shark swims in circles. Do you see the hungry shark? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, Horn pulls out a long green scaly thing from the bottom drawer of his dresser. He puts it on and sneaks out into the yard. At almost the exact same moment, a great bat-winged fire-breathing dragon attacks the castle. Shoo! There it goes. Fern is ready. She knows what dragons like to eat. Do you know what dragons like to eat? Chocolate chip cookies. And she throws a handful of cookies at the dragon. Yum, 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 yum. The dragon is delighted. He is so busy devouring the cookies that he steps into the moat. And the shark bites the dragon's big toe. Ow! Ouch! 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 Uh-oh, says Fern. What happened here? Ouch! 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 Says Horn. Your shark bit my big toe. Do you want another cookie? Asks Fern. Do you think a dragon would refuse a cookie? I'm going to build a rocket ship next, says Fern. The fat, fastest rocket ship in the universe. I'm going to make a monster from outer space, says Horn. With three eyes and four arms. Look at that. But they're still eating cookies. <laughs> and there's the monster going on the page and... Here is the end of Fern and Horn. What an imagination they have. What would you make?
What would you build in your house or in your yard? Thank you for listening to Fern and Horn.